Hi, Tony Poulos here at the Huawei Pavilion at Communicasia in Singapore. I have with me today Juan Hai Bin, who is the CTO of Huawei Enterprise for the Southern Pacific region. Hai Bin, great to catch up with you at last. Very interesting, a lot of discussion nowadays about machine to machine or M2M and the internet of things. And I'm wondering what Huawei is doing to meet the requirements of its customers with regard to IoT. First, Huawei built a very strong access point platform. We call it about the AR116 series access router. This is the first. We can build a good, strong ability to access. And second, we're building a very strong corner switch. We call it about 12700 switch, a gelite switch. We can provide a very good performance and a very good control for the machine to machine world. So, what do you think will be the main drivers for the Internet of Things? This is a depends on the requirements. For example, for example intelligent uh, trans transport uh, system, we needed to put the CCTV on the, the city, just like Singapore, where we control the safety of the city. And second, the smart building, we should control the, the building's uh, wells, control the building's uh, lights, we save energy and the cable. This is very important for the world changing. So eventually, we might end up having everything connected to the internet? That's a very good question. It's somehow still difficult because we should first provide enough access access method. For example, we have Wi-Fi, we have a real video, we have 3G, we have a 4G like LT. But if you think about if there is a very long highway, you should put the sensitive along the way and how to maintain the control it. This is the things will happen in the next three or five years. We People will think about it and control it and maintain it. And what do you think are the main weaknesses with IoT technology at the moment? Which is uh, really like the last question is because uh, the first still the, still the same problem. The people should need enough access method in the, the city, in the world. And the second is you should control the big data. This is where we have a lot of the data into your consciousness. You should analyze, understand it, and react to it, and provide the service to the final user. This is the important things. So let's talk a little bit about agile networks. You know, with all of this big data, cloud computing, the internet of things, we're gonna have a lot of data coming across the networks. And of course, the applications to support them. This is very big opportunity for companies like Huawei. So compared to other companies, what do you think of the strong points of your agile network? Huawei def make a uh, EMP chipset. This is uh, the strongest of the Huawei. Only the Huawei and Cisco provide their own chipset uh, specialist for the agility network. This most of the other companies be actually they building the, on the ASIC they coding, basically on the ASIC API. But the performance that means actually they building the things on a virtual machine. Virtual machine is provided basic. The performance should be the uh, some lower down. So. This is why we put the EMP technical in their new generation of switch, we call them the 100 to 27 switch. This is the agility switch, I think. This is a very big machine and a powerful machine. It can support the agility and all big data. From the user's perspective, what do you think are the main changes that will be brought about by Huawei's agile network? So uh, in the next uh, three years, so we're talking about uh, more and more about uh, the ISA, PASA, and CSASA. And also we, in this year, we're talk, uh, talking about the network as a service. But if we're talking about this uh, network as a service, that means some people, there is a mobility and use wireless methods to access your networker. But it's difficult for administrators to control it, and the user cannot get the same quality of access uh, to use this internet or use the application provided by the platform. So this is what Agility, actually this is SDN, uh, software definition and network, they can't take into consideration. This should provide an administrator defined network and provide the same quality of service to the end user. That's what means the end user can be got the benefits from the Agility network and the SDN. Hi Ben, thank you so much for explaining all of that to me. It's been a great help. And it's also thank you questions.